everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Bead Boutique. So I've been making and teaching how to make jewelry for a very long time. And one of the comments that I always hear is, you make it look so easy. Well, I think it is. And I wanna show you just how easy it can be. So I'm gonna take some simple parts and some simple techniques and put them together and teach you how to make your very own jewelry. If you wanna see what I'm making today, come and join me. All right, thank you everybody. I appreciate you. Sorry for being a couple minutes late. Uh, the store opens at 11, so I had to talk to my girls about a couple things and show them how to do something new. So they're in there trying to uh, probably destroy my computer system right now. But <laughs> I'm grateful for the help because there's always so much to do in this place. And sorry for the lousy backdrop, but it's just kind of the way it is today in here. Okay, so um, this is my takeover day. I'm gonna compile everything all into this little bit today. Um, I've had a lot going on in my personal life, um, it, a lot. And um, so I don't have a lot of time. So you guys get me all in one big um, lump here today instead of me spreading it out and doing a bunch of things throughout the day. My takeover day is gonna be a takeover hour or whatever it ends up being. So I hope you're all okay with that. That's sort of the best I could do today. So I do appreciate you taking time out and coming and joining me. So I'm gonna do a whole pile of things today and um, I'm just doing them all at one time. So I've got a couple of housekeeping things and I have an itchy nose. Whenever I go live, I get an itchy nose. Okay, so the first thing is, I wanna thank you so much for joining in and I'll mention this a couple times uh, that I'm gonna be giving, um, if you wanted to uh, buy anything today on my website, um, you're gonna get 20% off. So um, all you have to do is go and fill your card up with whatever you want. And in the coupon box, you're gonna type in in capital letters, Fall Fest. So just F-A-L-L-F-E-S-T. And um, then make sure you hit apply. We get people that just put Fall Fest in the comments or something like that. And we would prefer that you just put it in the coupon box and press apply, because that makes life a lot easier on our end so that we're not having to do a lot of um, paperwork behind the scenes so oh you got your first order thank you for ordering from us I really appreciate that Teresa all right so that um, coupon kit is 20% off but it's not valid on kits unfortunately we have to try to keep our kits as, I keep them as close to what they cost as possible um, and then also on tools and on clearance now a few people had asked us uh, we put out uh, we have a wall that has 70% off on our um, semi-precious it's like older stock and things like that and some people uh, one of my girls is doing all of my social media now and she popped it on there and so everybody's like oh my gosh why isn't it online and it's because I just can't do everything but what I'm doing is I'm slowly grabbing things and putting them up so yesterday I added one and there's a new section called new um, what did I put? Uh, new new clearance page so if you go into what's new you can see the clearance page and then you'll be able to see anything that's new on there or else you can just go over to the clearance page because there's all kinds of things there's some TRCast buttons in there that I'm getting rid of uh, not because they're not good but I ran out of room for buttons so um, so that's a, a nice little bonus to get 20% off today uh, we also have 30% off on seed beads and that's another coupon um, and I think that is all in capital letters, S-B-S-A-L-E, so seed bead sales is what it's for. Um, and you just have to apply that. And you can apply both of those coupons at the same time today. So most often I won't allow that, but today I can. we can do that. So, um, hello. Uh, so a couple of sales going on right now. And as always, our clearance section has all kinds of really great things. You just kind of have to poke around. So you could do some uh, good shopping for some of your um, crafts for the Christmas uh, season. So um, I'm going to give away some kits today. So I will talk about that uh, throughout the show and maybe, uh, you know, wet your whistle a little bit. And I'm going to be doing a demo today. Today is just a really easy demo. And I have to say this was not my demo. This is Lori's. Uh, Lori that works for me, she's very creative and she's been helping me out a lot lately. Um, because of my move, I've been doing so many things um, away from the store and I just haven't had time to do a lot of stuff. So. Uh, she's been helping me out with some of the projects that I've been doing on YouTube and, and that sort of stuff. So it's going to be a real quick one, but um, we posted something about it a few weeks ago and everybody went um, crazy. So um, that's what I'm going to be doing today. 
I'm going to be showing you a new bead mix that we just made. Well, again, that Lori made. And, uh, and some of our new beads. We just got in some new beads and charms. They're just beautiful. So those are some of the things. Uh, that's sort of the, um, you know, list of what's going to happen today. So I guess probably the best thing is, um, would you guys like to have the demo first? Would that be the best thing? I'm going to have a little little sip. I can do the demo and then I can show you some beads or would you rather see the beads first and then the demo? Let me know. The first three answers that I get is what I'll go with. Hi Leah. This, the, it's always a little bit of a, a slow to get the comments up. Oh thank you Wanda. Hey Jennifer, how you doing? Jennifer's probably eagerly awaiting her kit. So you, you want the demo first? Demo? Okay. Well, the first two people said demo, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so you know that because I don't have these fancy, you know, things that all the other people have that's in the great bead extravaganza, um, I will just be having to take you off of one tripod and put you onto another. Uh, so there'll be a little jerkiness and the camera flipping and stuff. Um, so please excuse that. Um, but also, speaking of the great bead extravaganza, you know, thank you again to the, uh, you know, the leaders, the organizers of it, Sarah and uh, Andrew and William. Um, so it, our, our next one is coming up. Can you believe it? It's like, what, three weeks away? And that's going to be our fourth one. It's our one year anniversary. So make sure that you've got time to pop in that weekend of the uh, 12th, 13th, 14th to see what's going on. Uh, there's some really good kits and we have our kit available it's called the Carmen kit and I thought I had one out here but I don't I'll maybe see if I can get AJ to grab one um, we're almost sold out now I have ordered but I have to order from China so um, it's it's coming <laughs> It's going to be on slow boat. Uh, so it's their the parts are coming but it could be a, a bit so I think I have 18 maybe 17 kits left so if you were wanting to get one of the kits, they're on the website. You just go to um, my kit section and go under necklaces and it's called Carmen. Um, so those are available now for the Great Bead Extravaganza. And the kit that I'm doing today, um, it's not jewelry. It's something sparkly, but it's not jewelry. Um, and it, you can find these ones. There's going to be three different kits and I'll show you all the different uh, colorways at the end you can find these ones um, under the kits, but they're under pendants because I didn't have a section to put them. So I'm like, well, I'll just put them under pendants. So if you see one and you like them, um, that's where they're gonna be. Now, one of them has quite a few, like 28 kits, but there's a couple that only have 11. So if there's a color that you like, I wouldn't leave it too long because um, they'll be gone. Everything always sells out when I do these things. So anyway, so thanks for joining. I'm gonna quickly take you out of here and uh, hope that Nothing goes bad. So let's see, we'll turn you around and get you all set up. Oh, there's my fingers going over it. Okay, I have to, I think I'm gonna have to move my entire setup. Now, when I am in this positioning, I cannot read any, um, I cannot read any of the uh, comments. So I'm gonna pull up my sleeves. I don't even have any jewelry on because I can't find it since my move. It's somewhere in a box. There's a lot of boxes that say KBB on it, which is, of course, short for Kelly's Bead Boutique, but I don't know where they are and I don't know what, where my jewelry is. So I can't really see too many of the comments. I can see the odd one. So if you have something that's, uh, you know, is making you crazy and you really want to know, uh, just hang on until I flip you back at the end. So what we're going to be making today are sun catchers because when... Um, Lori made up a bunch of sun catchers and we keep selling through so fast in the store and uh, then we did a, a post on it. Tessa put a post up on um, TikTok and a few other places and everybody went wild. So I've never made this before which is actually good because I'm going to be kind of like you guys in that I will get a kit and I don't know how to make it. So that's actually a good thing for me. She says it's easy so I'm going to hope it's easy. So um, as far as tools today we're just going to be using a pair of cutters and then we've got um aj actually sorry could you grab me a kit uh, the carmen kit thank i wanted you. to show it to them thank you um we're going to be using a pair of our pliers we've got bent chain nose pliers and we've got our crimping tools thank you ma'am 
So if you can see this, this is our Carmen necklace kit. I don't know how it's showing up on there. Maybe it's okay. Um, it is a really super fun kit with leather and it's got a piece of wood and a juicy big piece of uh, check glass and a bunch of other fun stuff. So um, I'm just going to have one second here. I'll have to get you to separate the tables because it's jiggling. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, we have our two tables together here because this is it. I'm in the shipping area here. Thank you. Okay, so that's the one I was talking about for the Great Beat Extravaganza. If you haven't got yours, make sure you grab it. Okay, now for parts, we have some um, Softlex, and this is the medium Softlex, and it's not very much. I think there's maybe about seven inches there. And now the celestial themes are really popular right now. So we have this beautiful sort of filigree moon, and it has this little um, hole there, and, or, or you know, loop there, and one at the top too, which is going to make it perfect for what we're doing today. And we've got this really unique um, Chinese crystal that's really, really beautiful and faceted and really picks up the light, which is exactly what you want on a sun catcher. We have a few jump rings and then various sizes of check glass, or sorry, this is a Chinese crystal, and then some Chinese crystal bicones. And on this particular one, we have little um, butterflies, which are really, really cute. And then we're going to be using some crimps and some crimp covers. And then we've got a length of chain. So like she said, this is really easy. So let's see if I can do this. <laughs> AJ's laughing because she's like, well, <laughs> I have to remember what I'm doing. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to open up this ring and it's gonna go through this um, loop. There's a, there's a hole, sorry, not a loop. There's a hole through the middle of this bead. Now, a couple things. One, you're going to take your set of pliers and your chain nose and your bent nose and you're going to open that up really wide wider than you normally would for making jewelry now we're trying to put something round through something straight you can see that there's a straight line there so what you want to be careful of is that you're not taking this and jamming it in now Lori did pre-test every single one of these to make sure that that goes through but what you're going to do is just put it in and gently turn it and it will go in there and then you're going to pop it in the middle of the moon in that lower one and then do it up. So if you have troubles getting that in, try flipping your jump ring around and using the other side and just jiggle until it gets in there. Don't force it because this is glass and it will break if you force it. So just be you know mindful of that, but already look how pretty that looks and that really catches the light again, which is what a sun catcher should do. Okay, so now I'm gonna take one of my crimps. Now, you know, if you've watched me before, and I hope you have, um, <laughs> that uh, normally I like to work with a ridiculously long piece and then I waste a lot, but Lori doesn't like to waste, so she gave me this little scrawny piece and so I'm gonna have to be really extra special careful <laughs> to not um, you know, waste very much and to use just what we've got. So I've got my crimp end on just sort of towards the end, about a half an inch over, and then I'm going to turn that around so that I can bring that piece. See, this is why I work with long pieces because I have these big fat fingers. And now I'm gonna take that and put it through and then I'm gonna pull the long one because I want to um, just have enough there. So what I wanna do is not have these cross over. Sorry, my fingers are completely in the way in this whole project because I'm trying not to waste anything but I really struggle with not being able to do that. All right, there we go. So the main thing with soft flex is don't have them cross over. Okay, so I'm just pulling up. I'm gonna leave a little bit out there. So now you can see what I've got there. So just pull it down until you've got that tightened up. <laughs> AJ brought me more in case I make a mess of this. You know, I think if you've got tiny fingers, it's easier. Okay, so now we've got that there like that and I haven't got it crossed over. So now when you take your crimping pliers, you're gonna have the two holes and I'm gonna use the inner one and that's gonna create our nice little sort of taco shape. So always make sure that you're lined up right on top, like you never wanna be like this because that will just kind of make your crimp go crazy. So we're gonna just go in the middle of it, make sure it's all covered and then just give that a crimp. Now we're gonna turn it 90 degrees and we're gonna use that outside one and we're gonna give that a little crimp and then because I'm always really, you know, particular about things falling apart, I take my chain nose pliers and I go back in without turning it. Because if I turned it, then it would just open it all back up. And I'm just going to give that a really good scrunch. You know, I like to use that word scrunch. 
And now we're going to trim this off, which always makes people nervous because I trim off right at the crimp there. But if you've crimped properly, that's not going to go anywhere. So that's how we're going to start this. And now I've never used these um, crimp covers. These are a little bit stronger ones, so I'm hoping that I have success with it. But again, this is like you guys getting it. You get things that you've never worked on, and that's what's happening with me today. So I'm going to take my crimp and I'm going to place it in between the teeth of that um, crimp cover. And then I just go on either side and start closing it up. Now when it gets almost closed up is kind of when I stop. And then I kind of go on the top and I start just kind of pushing it towards each other. So you will hear lots of noise in the door opening and people talking because the store is open, but that shouldn't be too bad. So see now you just take little kind of bites. It's, I don't know, I'm going to date myself. Um, by you know saying it's kind of like Pac-Man like little you know how Pac-Man was kind of eat, eat, eat. that's sort of what this is like just little tiny bites but see how nicely that ended up we don't have any flattened out spots it's perfectly round and that's exactly how a crimp cover should look okay so now we're going to just start placing the beads on so you can change your pattern up if you want but um, the way that we're putting it on today is just one bicone and then the a um, little bit bigger bead and then two bicones and then we've got our little butterfly and make sure you've got your butterfly going in the direction that you want if you want it upside down that's cool it's your piece you can do whatever you like you love Pac-Man <laughs> I can see the odd comment here so I used to sit we used to have a local um, pub I don't know if everybody calls them pubs but we had a local pub and I wasn't a big drinker but I used to love to go and play Pac-Man I don't know that I was particularly good at it, but I love to go and play it. And I I miss that kind of stuff <laughs> because I think why people like um, video games sometimes that they're a bit sort of mindless, right? You just sit there and play. So, okay. See how fast this is coming together? Now this makes an absolutely wonderful Christmas gift if you're trying to find something for somebody that has everything and maybe they don't wear jewelry, but you wanna um, you know get your creative juices on um, this is a really good gift you can hang these in a window you can hang them on your car off the um, uh, what is that thing called a mirror <laughs> you can hang it outside off of a tree we actually have one off of our tree in our new house so okay so that's our little run they're not they're not super long but they're just enough okay so now I'm going to put on my second crimp so I'll put my crimp on and then I am going to put on one of my jump rings before I crimp that. So you could always add it after, but I'm going to put it on now. And then I'm going to run that through, and I want to make sure that that doesn't get um, crossed over. So you can see how I've still got them parallel to each other. That's really important when you are crimping, is making sure that they're not getting twisted around. And I just want to leave a little bit there. And then now I am going to... Keep, I always hold on to the other end and that sort of enables that um, piece not to twist on me. So I'm going to crimp using the inside one and now I turn it 90 degrees and I go on the outside one. All right and now I'm going to come back in with my pliers and give that a little scrunch down and again make, su make sure that it's on the flat side you don't want to go on the top because it'll just open it back up. And then I'm going to take my flush side of my cutters and run that down and trim that off. So now we've got this. And you want to make sure that you leave enough room in there, like you don't want to have that so tight that you couldn't put this on. Because these actually take up, you know, not quite a quarter inch, but if I was to have done that right super tight, that would make it a little bit too tight and it wouldn't have that flowiness that we like. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that in like that and then put that in the end and give that a little scrunch and then I'm going to go back and start doing my little Pac-Man. Am I perfectly on camera? It's so hard to tell without being able to see myself today like I normally have my other computer with me and I completely forgot that so I'll look for some comments but I really hope that I'm on camera. I'm doing my best to try and stay on camera. Okay, so just little bites. And by doing the little bites back and forth, instead of trying to do it all, it, most people just take and go, and you end up with a flat side. But by doing the little bites on the top and kind of pushing it around, you see how it works. You know, I could spend a little bit more time getting that really tight. 
but I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so this is an open ring. Okay, perfect, thank you very much for answering my question. So I'm gonna open up that ring using the flush side of my, or the flat side, I should say, of my bent chain nose pliers, open that up, add my little piece of chain. So this is like the, you know, the five minute craft. And I really wish that I had a longer one for you today, but I thought this one was really fun. So, and then you're gonna use this other one and put it at the other piece, or sorry, the other end of the chain and do that up. Well, not bad. I knew exactly how to make that without even ever making it before. <laughs> so now when you hang it up, you've got a little place to hang it up from and you've got a little bit of chain and then you've got this beautiful sparkle, which is so nice. So I've got three different kits. So let me grab one of each for you so that you can have a look and see what the differences are. So this one was called, um, the one that I'm working on is called uh, Fairy Garden. So this green one is called Fairy Garden. And then this one here is called Sunny Day. So you can see that this one has some yellows and purples and I just love that big juicy bead and this one's so super sparkly uh, in the sunlight so I called that one sunny day and then this one is the one that we have the most of just have to find it sorry about the crinkles and the noise and so this one is called I called it full moon because I thought you know it looked just like what I would think as a full moon with all that beautiful color so those are the three kits for today and what do you guys think you think you could do that do you think you like them they're, uh, I believe they were, what did I make those ones? Are they $14.99 or something like that? I can't, honestly, I can't remember because I did them kind of in a hurry yesterday. But I hope you like them. Super easy to do. Um, this, I think we sell these in our $5 findings. Um, so you would get a couple of them, but this is also a good stash buster. If you have a bunch of um, odds and sods and just random things at home, this would be a really good one to make with um, some of your stash. It just looks nice, I think, with the little moon on there, but you could do, um, you know, anything. <laughs> Jennifer, of course, she'll take one of each. <laughs> but don't you think this is a really great gift to give somebody when you just don't know what to buy them or maybe they don't wear jewelry, you know, or, you know, you just want to give somebody something pretty. This would make um, like a great teacher's gift at Christmas or a co-worker gift, you know, if you're in a a secret sister kind of thing where you have to give a gift and you have no idea what the other person likes. Um, oh, thank you. Did you put them in there, Jennifer? Oh, I appreciate that. You're a sweetheart. Um, so yeah, I think this would be a really great uh, gift or something you could give yourself. So there you go. There is our um, sun catcher kits. And so like I said, this is the uh, full moon and this is sunny day. And then this is the fairy garden, just so that you know which ones are, are which. So that is the excitement on that today. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I'm gonna be doing this forever, but you know, it didn't really take very long. So I have some other new things, and I know Jennifer's gonna like this next thing coming up. So I have a few new things to show you. So we've been doing some bead kits. Now I've had the girls doing these for me because they're actually doing a really good job. And, um, oh, thank you so much for ordering. I really, you know, honestly, people, you have no idea how much it means to small businesses right now. It's very tough out there, as I'm sure you're all completely aware of what's going on in the world. It's very tough. And um, so we really appreciate um, every single purchase that comes through our doors or on our store. Uh, we do our best to get our orders out that day. Sometimes if you order on a Friday, it might not go till the Monday but we do our very best to get our orders out the door as fast as we possibly can. Um, AJ works tirelessly back here, taking care of everything. And you know, sometimes we make mistakes, but we always take care of our customers. And yesterday we made a mistake on the mistake. <laughs> AJ felt so bad. She's like, uh oh, I think I sent her the wrong one. So she sent it out again. We always take care of our customers. So, all right, so this one is a bead kit. Now, or it's a bead mix. It's not really a kit, it's just a bead mix. So what we do is we go around the store and we pick out some of our favorite colors and kind of combine them. And um, this one is called Purple Rain. And this one is so pretty. So this one has some, they're called snail beads from the Czech Republic and I picked those out uh, personally when I was in the Czech Republic a few years back. 
And then these are some English cut uh, ch uh, check glass. And these are some beautiful table cut check glass. And then we have this really unique cut of uh, Chinese crystal, which I thought was really pretty. I love that sort of squared off. It's kind of like a rondelle, but it's got a bit flatter kind of what? Uh, watch, I'll kind of look. I'm looking down and it says so-and-so is watching. And so that got in my brain. And then these, I'm not sure if these are hematite. I think they are hematite. And then we've got some O beads. So the point of the mixes is to give you just a little bit of, of different things. And I know Jennifer buys a lot of them and she'll actually make kits with them and um, she'll make like a necklace and maybe a matching pair of earrings or maybe a bracelet. You can do whatever you like with it, but it gives you a little bit of a stash without having to buy a whole strand of beads. So they're economical. You get a nice little color coordinated grouping and they're kind of fun. So this one is our purple rain and that one is $14.99 and we have 11 of those uh, right now. So that one's kind of fun. So that's, that is one of the new things. Do you guys like the the bead mixes. I know that a few of the stores are starting to do bead mixes now, and I think it's, it's a really great idea. I wish that um, when I first started beading that I had that, because people often say, oh, I wish I could come to your store because you have so many things. Well, this kind of gives you a little bit more of what, like we would have these in singles in the store, or maybe you wouldn't want to buy a whole tube of O beads and spend $9, where instead you get a bunch of them to use maybe as little spacers, you know, because those look really cute on either side of these. So, you know, you can kind of play around with them. Yeah, you do get lots of projects with them, don't you, Jennifer? Which is great. So, that is that. Now, we just got these charms in yesterday. So, not all of them are on the website, but they will be soon. So, hold out your, you know, be patient. They will all be under the charm section and they will all be under Celestial. Now, even if you're not into the Celestial stuff, which I'm not, but most of the girls in my store are, um, these are just super pretty. So that's where you'll find them is under Celestial. So this is the new newest one that came in yesterday and they call this a constellation. And it's got some like little sort of, it looks, they don't look a little bit like flowers, but they um, are supposed to be constellations or stars or whatever. And then they've got a little bit of um, CZs in there, some little sparkles. So those are really, really pretty. And I can totally see those as earrings or just as a, um, you know, I think this would look really cute. We have that thin beading chain and then you could put some O beads on it and then dangle that in the front as a charm. And I think that would be a spectacular little necklace. Uh, the bead mix are, they're under their own category. So you'll just see that at the top bar and it just says bead mixes. Yeah, they kind of do look a little bit like snowflakes, but yeah, so those are supposed to be constellations. So I'm not sure if those are up yet. I did try to get some up. And I think these are up, but I don't think I have both colors of the pictures, but both colors are available. And these are little little moons, and they have little hearts inside them. And we had those before, and they sold out immediately. So those ones are really darling. And I'm not sure what makes the constellation or the moon stuff or the celestial stuff super popular right now, but um, it's just very popular. And the other thing that we sell through all the time, can't keep them in the store, are these, um, I think they're called Third Eyes. So thank you, Jennifer, you're a peach. I'm gonna have to give you a raise. Um, <laughs> oh, the video stopped, did it? Is everybody still be able, able to watch it? I hope it's okay. I think we're good on my end here. Um, so these are Third Eyes and this is the silver and the gold and it's got a little bit of uh, cubic zirconia in there which gives it that nice sort of you know blingy thing that we all like so those are brand new and I don't think those are up yet but I will work on getting those up there and then again we did have these ones uh, but they sold out right away um, it's always funny to see what sells out so those are another kind of third eye and that's got a bigger um, old hippies never die <laughs> I like that we're still okay perfect Okay, so th those ones are really nice because can you see how big that, um, I'm going to put one down here, how large that cubic zirconia is in there? Really sparkly and pretty. So that's another new charm. And then I just got these ones in yesterday and I thought these were lovely. So these are little moons and they've got little, I guess, little constellations around them. And I think that is a little uh, CZ in there. So those ones are really sweet too. So that is our part of our new celestial um, section. 
And we also did get um, some new tiara cast in up from their celestial section. And I just got some new pendants in and I just popped those up today. So if you go to um, charms, yeah, base metal charms, and then down to the very bottom, I think is where the celestial is. You'll see the brand new tiara cast ones in there and they're a pendant and they're fabulous. They're two sided and they have something different on each side. So I just think these are kind of fun. So that's some of the new stuff there. And I have, so I'm going to just go back to, oh, sorry for the noise. Um, I'm going to go back to some of the housekeeping stuff so that you guys know. So um, today you'll get 20, per, well, for the next three days up until Sunday, um, you can have 20% off of anything that you buy in the store um, online only. And just use in the coupon box uh, the word Fall Fest. I don't know, will that show it? It's, this is written in my chicken scratch, but it's just Fall Fest. It's not valid on kits tools or clearance and I'll make sure to uh, put that um, in a, a link later on no those ones that I showed you today are not tiara cast but they are made in a um, they're made over in Korea um, super um, like one of those it's made by the same manufacturer that does my chain and so it's really good quality no nickel no lead no cadmium um, nothing bad in it so they're really lo lovely um, we also have our seed beads on sale 30% off and you just use the coupon SB sale. You can see that on the header on my website. So you can actually use both coupons if you're wanting to shop today. Um, and oh, I know what, we're gonna have to do this now. So I'm gonna give away, let's see, three kits. I don't know what kits I'm gonna give away. I'll just pick some random kits. So I want you, if you wanna win a kit, what I need you to do is to leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite thing about fall is. For me, it's the colors. I love, um, right now we moved out to the country and so there's just so much um, in the way of color out there. We've got maple leaf trees all over our property and so we've got the beautiful reds and burgundies and yellows and golds and greens and it's, those are my favorite colors to decorate with and um, I absolutely love the colors. So leave me a note that says um, what your favorite thing is about fall and then I will make sure to put that um, into a little random picker and I will give away three kits to three different people so alrighty so make sure that you do that somewhere along the way today so we've got we've got coupons and we've got giveaways and we've got the demo that I just did and now I want to show you some of these we've had so many people ask uh, to see these again. So I'm just going to pile some stuff over in the corner here. I'm going to take a short slurp of my water. I get dry when I do this. Yeah, I bet you like the rain where you live. <laughs> it's pouring here. We're tired of it. Okay, so I just got a bunch of new um, beautiful Czech glass in and it, you know, it's hard taking pictures of beads. So um, I'm going to just show you some of them so you can actually see how gorgeous they are. So this is our Dahlia, our 14 millimeter Dahlia Plum with a mercury finish. And the code is ABD116. And this one has a beautiful uh, mercury finish on it. Uh, I use the Dahlia beads in a lot of things now. So that is that one. So it's sometimes nicer to be able to see them versus a, you know, up and close versus on a little picture. And here's another one. This is ABD071 and it's the Baby Blue Shimmer with a bit of a mercury finish. And isn't that one gorgeous? That one's lovely. I think this is one of my favorite ones because I just love that it, every one has just a little bit different color, yet they all work together. And then I also got some of these large hibiscus um, beads in. And these ones are the tea green Picasso. And the code on this one, if you wanted to purchase them, were ABD110. And I just think these are fabulous. Like that would look so great in anything. Earrings, necklace, bracelets, love that. <laughs> AJ, uh, Jennifer says you'll have a, a, a new order in from her soon. <laughs> All right, and now this one is, I think one of my favorites in this group. So this one is um, Hibiscus Pink, and then it's got the Picasso finish, finish and this is ABD114. And look at the colors in that one. This was one that I really wanted to show you. I just think it's fabulous. It's kind of a mix of stuff. So we've got the Picasso on the outside and then we've got sort of a, 
I don't know what kind of a corally plummy pinky kind of color um, with a little bit of a, a white striation in there I just absolutely adore this one I think it's fabulous and then of course um, we got in some new um, we're trying to get more new English cuts and I now talking about check glass beads I was bored yesterday morning at six o'clock so I ordered a whole pile of beads <laughs> <laughs> so coming soon will be more beads. So this one is uh, one of the new English cuts that we just got in. And this one is pink. It's an 8mm pink with gold luster. And the code on this one is ABD023. And this one is a beautiful shimmery pink. Fabulous. If you're a pink lover, look at how gorgeous that is. So nice. And then this one, I know this one's been a favorite. It's selling through fast. This one um, isn't eight millimeter English cut teal blue and the code is ABD 106 and look at that one it's it's teal but it's got of course it's got a bit of Picasso running through it with all different variations but absolutely stunningly gorgeous just love it <laughs> yeah yay more beads Jennifer you're gonna own half my store soon <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> all right this one is a powder blue purple um, uh, can't read it. Pansy? I don't know. Pat? Uh, yeah, maybe blue, purple pansy. And it's ABD038. So this again is an English cut. And it's kind of, it really is purple and blue with a lovely finish on it. So it's very sparkly. The English cuts are really unique. Very, very nice. So that's some of the new English cuts. And then I also got in just this one because I wanted to see what these were like. And if anybody really liked them and I'm going to try and make something with this um, these are the little melons they're a six millimeter melon and this one is a coral with something or other I'm not sure coral with sage I think it is and this is ABD 120 and see how pretty these are they've got nice little sort of dimples in them with the the Picasso in there so lovely so these are make a really good little spacer bead and these are only $2.99 you cannot go wrong and then today if you use your code you'll get 20% off so now don't forget if you live in the United States, you not only save 20%, but you save whatever the exchange rate is. And I think right now it's around 25%. So you would save, uh, it, we don't give it to you, your bank does, um, but you would get another 20, 25 to 20% off. Just depends on what the, the it, it fluctuates every day, um, but you will get an extra savings. So shopping from us in Canada does save you a little bit of extra money, so. Yeah, that would look really nice on leather. You'd you could wrap it around. You couldn't put the leather through because the holes are small, but um, I think that one's pretty. Now, my favorite bead of all the Czech glass beads are the rondelles. They're just, I use them in so many things as I'm sure you are aware. <laughs> now this one um, is a six by eight and it's a pale blue with uh, gold on it. And it's ABD 072 and this one's 1099, but look at that. That one is stunning. <laughs> you can order 25% more. <laughs> Have you not noticed that, Jennifer? That you, well, you probably don't even look, but yes, you, you save money when you buy from Canada. That's the one perk, if you're American, you know, because ha we have that exchange rate, so. And then this one is so pretty. This is the Peridot Picasso, and it's ABD041, and this one is 880. And this one has just a beautiful tone to it. It's got like a little bit of, you know, different colors running inside it. And I love that. That mixed with some browns and some reds. and You could kind of go nuts with this one. So loving that one. And then this one we sold out the first time um, from a different manufacturer and I couldn't get it again. So I found another manufacturer and got this back. This is the Turquoise Picasso ABD 111. And this one is 1099. And look at that color this beautiful blue and I've used that in some of the projects on the kits because I just think that one is it's my literal favorite I love anything with the blue and the Picasso on it it's just stunning and you can mix that with so many different colors Peridot is your birthstone fabulous so when's Peridot? oh that's August, August right yeah <laughs> Okay, now this one is um, ABD 119 and it's emerald and bronze now it's hard to see the emerald on there because it's so dark, but I just thought the combination was really kind of striking. You can sort of see it if you put it in the light, but you know, of course, this is not showing up very well. Okay, 
And then the last one is my favorite in the bunch. I mean, I love the blues and all that sort of stuff, but this one, when I saw it, this is what made me order. This is Coral with Bronze Picasso, and it's ABD108, and it's $14.99. It's a bit more expensive because the reds and the, and the darker pinks and stuff are always um, uh, very expensive. But I will give the coupon code again in a second. I see that coming up a little bit. So... Um, yeah, so this is a gorgeous, look at the color on that. I want to use this in a project, I just have to find the right one. But I absolutely love this one. It is so pretty. Very, very nice. So, okay, so I'm just going to flip you guys back up so we can have a little chit chat. So excuse the, the jiggling. All right. Okay, hi again. Okay. Yes, they're so pretty, aren't they? Did I leave anything out? I'm always worried that I am going to leave some things out. So, well, we haven't been together very long today. So I apologize for not making this a full day thing. But, you know, you guys have got other things I'm sure that you're going to do. I might post up a couple things. Um, if you look on the Great Beat Extravaganza page or my uh, uh, Facebook page, it will have all the coupon details. But you're just going to type in Fall Fest, F-A-L-L. F-E-S-T and that will give you 20% off today. Um, it's not valid on kits or tools or um, clearance but it's valid on everything else. So if you wanted to buy these beads you would save your 20% and then if you're in the US you'd save more because of the exchange. Uh, the giveaways. Make sure that you uh, leave me in a comment and tell me your favorite thing about fall. Um, it can be whatever. It can be jewelry related or food related or smells or colors or whatever you love about fall. Just make sure you leave me a comment and I'm going to pick three winners and that winner, those winners will get a kit. I don't know which one I'll give you. Um, I'll have just, we have our kits pre-made over there and I'm looking going, hmm, which ones am I going to give you? Which ones do you guys want? <laughs> and we've got our sun catcher kits that I just did and actually this is a good opportunity to show you when they're hanging. Look at how much better they look when they're hanging. So that is the sunny days. That one's so pretty. And then this one was the one that I made and that is the fairy garden. It was easy, Lori, thank you. So that's the fairy garden. And then this one is the uh, full moon. And these are limited quantities once they're gone we can't make them anymore so that was the little demo today thank you Gail uh, and then we also had our purple rain bead mix which is available on its own there's a bead mix section and also to tell you that the um, seed beads in the store are 30% off so either in store or uh, online and if you want to use the coupon online it's actually written on the little header on our store uh, website which is www.kellysbeadboutique.com make sure you spell Kelly with an IE and that'll take you to the right one and um, the the 30% off on the seed beads is valid till Sunday as is this 20% off um, sale and the 30% off coupon is SB sale so short for CB sale so that's all the deals and the coupons and the pretty stuff I have and the kits and all that fun sort of stuff today so what are you guys up to? You're all getting ready for uh, markets or are you starting to create for your gift giving? It's hard to believe that that is like literally two months away. Didn't we just have Christmas? <laughs> I'm never prepared for Christmas and I actually kind of, you know, cheat a little bit. I just give everybody money because I don't know what to do anymore. So, on well, Heather, I threw something up on, um, I know you really wanted, uh, wasn't it? It was you, right? <laughs> that wanted some of the stuff, the 70% off strands. I'm starting to put up some of them. I put one up yesterday. So <laughs> just keep watching. I'll get more and more stuff up there. So it's just so much work for me right now. There's just so many things going on. We just moved to our new house, which has not gone according to plan. I knew something would happen, but I was hoping it was going to be good and not bad. And it's not good. So, you know, it's been frustrating, but. Uh, not package your stuff up you might need a second order okay Jennifer I will tell her that you're getting ready for some festivals oh Luann I hope you do really well in them it's it's always a it's, it's so nerve-wracking isn't it I um, I remember doing so many of them and it was 
Yeah, it was always a lot of work, and they're fun, but yeah, I guess we've got uh, Halloween coming up. We've got a whole big selection here of um, all that sort of stuff, skeletons and pumpkins and all that. Um, it's not a big thing for me. Because we moved out to the country, we won't be able to do that anymore. So, But my daughter said, Mom, you can come over anytime and deal with it at our house because she lives in a very heavily populated area with a million families and children. So I'll probably go down there and uh, take Willow out or go out to my sons and take Grace out. Because uh, the older two girls, they don't go out any longer. So I think they want to, but it's not cool to go out at 14 anymore, right? Okay, not like so, um, yeah, I guess that's coming up pretty soon. Yes, yeah, my daughter's birthday is coming up week, and we've got lots going on right now. Mostly right now, we've got renovations going on at our house. Oh, got a brand new fancy washing machine, and that's fabulous. So it's always exciting to get new new appliances. So. Anyway, I'm not going to keep you guys too much longer here because, you know, I'm just blah, blah, blind. But I want to thank you all so much for joining in today. Um, make sure to keep leaving your uh, comments to win a free kit. And I will um, get back to it, anybody that wins. It'll, I'll probably pick the winners next week. So, um, Jenny, no, but thank you. <laughs> I'll tell AJ to try to um, uh, watch for yours, but I really do appreciate every order from you, uh, from everybody that has been sending them in. Um, we really are very, very appreciative. It's helped us stay in business. So again, thank you so much for all your love and your support, uh, your support of the Great Beat Extravaganza. It all means so much to us. So make sure that you um, mark down, I think um, there's lots of uh, little notices up on our Facebook pages and on uh, the Great Beat Extravaganza Facebook page, which is where I think I am right now. Um, with all the different presenters, I am going to be on the Saturday, and we've changed our times a little bit. So I'm on Saturday the 13th, I believe, November 13th at four o'clock Pacific Standard Time until five, and um, we have what did I do with my kit? Oh, there it is. Um, there's the Carmen, the Carmen kit that we are doing um, for the uh, Beat Extravaganza. We're not sold out, but we're getting close, so make sure you order yours. I will have a few more that I can do, maybe like another 25 once we get our stuff in from China, but it won't be in time for, I don't think, it won't be in time. But you never know, I might get lucky. Um, so that one is so much fun. I had a blast putting it together and I think it'll be a really fun time. So there you go, everybody. Thank you again for watching. Uh, go about and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Make some jewelry, be creative, have some fun with it and have a fabulous weekend. Hopefully everybody has a stress-free, happy weekend and um, enjoy this beautiful fall day whether it's pouring rain here like it like it is here or beautiful wherever you live so all right so thanks again and we'll see you guys all soon uh, on november 13th to be exact exact i can't talk today i'm very tired so <laughs> all right so thanks again and we will talk to you soon take care bye-bye